Hi, my name is Jerry Monkman, and this is the first in a series of tips from the In the Field section of my new book, The AMC Guide to Outdoor Digital Photography. I call this tip, Maximize the Light. And while it's probably the least technical of all my tips, learning to master light in your photos is possibly the most important thing you can do as an outdoor photographer. There are two kinds of light I love to shoot in. Uh, and the first is called the golden hour light. And this is the time of day around sunrise and sunset when the sun is low on the horizon. And this light is much warmer in color than midday light, so it's got a more pleasing look to it, a more dramatic look. It's more yellow and red as opposed to blue. It's also a lower contrast light, so you're able to keep detail in your highlights and your shadows more easily than you are at midday light. And the low angle of the sun casts these great shadows across the landscape that really help bring out the texture and detail in your subject matter. And golden hour light is, is really my favorite light for shooting big landscape scenes like we have here, where you have big expanses of sky and really interesting foregrounds. Um, shooting that stuff in midday light is, is a waste of time in my opinion. You really need to be shooting these big landscapes in the golden hour light. Now you can see here, we're actually, we're only, what are we, an hour and a half after sunrise and the quality of the light is already getting to be more like midday light than golden hour light. So if you want to shoot in that beautiful early morning light, you need to be up and, and shooting during the first half hour to 45 minutes of the day. Or the same thing at the end of the day around sunset. Um, if you just do that, you'll, you'll definitely improve your photographs. So the second kind of light I love to photograph in is the light you get on a cloudy day. So overcast day, drizzly, foggy days. They're great for shooting in forest scenes. And here where I live in northern New England, we have a lot of trees, a lot of forest. And if you've ever hiked in the woods on a, on a bright sunny day, you get sort of this beautiful romantic looking light with the dappled sunlight coming through the trees. And it makes us feel good, but it looks terrible in a photo because it's just these blown out highlights and dark blotchy shadows. Now, if you shoot those same forest scenes on an overcast day, you've got a nice, even diffuse light that lets you see all the, all the detail in the forest without competing shadows and highlights. Now, this kind of light is also great for shooting waterfalls and streams and rivers and also detail shots like flowers and mushrooms and the textures in rocks and all that kind of stuff. So I love shooting in overcast light. And the one thing that's great about overcast light as opposed to that golden hour light is as long as the clouds are covering up the sun, you can shoot all day long and not worry about your light changing. So it's a more relaxed pace and a great way to sort of experiment and explore with your photography. Okay, so that's this week's tip, maximize the light. Try it, get out there and practice it, and I guarantee you, you'll see improvement in your photos. For more tips and to learn about my book, The AMC Guide to Outdoor Digital Photography, visit monkmanphoto.com. <laughs>